Hi there. My name is Dimitri and in this video we'll be going over Clockify's standard plan. Keep in mind that every plan also includes the features of every previous plan. So let's get into it. The standard plan contains all basic features. Your team's time off in Clockify can be managed through holidays and policies. Both holidays and policies will have a dedicated color to distinguish them quickly and a list of people they apply to. The difference is that holidays don't require the approval process, unlike policies which usually do. Holidays can be set to repeat annually on selected dates, and policies can be customized even further by choosing if they will be expressed in days or hours, request approval, accrue automatically per year, and so on. Time off requests can be filtered by status, team member, and date or time period, and then exported for your internal log. The Timeline tab gives you an overview of who is absent, for how long, and based on which time off policy or holiday. The Balance tab shows you how many days team members have used and how many time off days they have left. You can also manually add or remove time off days from their balance, see the history of their time off changes, and export data for your internal logs. Clockify gives you a way of billing your services and expenses to clients right from the app. Invoices are created by choosing which clients to bill and which projects to import the billable hours and expenses from. Each invoice can include taxes or discounts you may have for that client or invoice specifically. You can also change currencies for each invoice, control which fields will be displayed, and change the legal entity you will bill from in the case that you have multiple. You can customize email templates when sharing an invoice, both when sending it out for the first time and when reminding people. Once created, you will be able to track invoice status from unsent, sent, paid, partially paid, or overdue. Partially paid invoices will have a date on which the payment was made and its amount, so you know how much remains to be paid. Timesheets and expenses can be submitted for approval so that managers can review them before approving them. Submitted timesheets and expenses will have a pending approval label, so you know if they've already been submitted. You can review pending requests and reject them or approve of them one by one, or glance over the main information and approve all timesheets with one click. Pending requests can show more details and be edited if you click them. Here you can edit them if you notice a mistake or reject them completely for a user to submit them again. You can also remind team managers to approve their team's timesheets and remind all members who haven't to submit their timesheets. All approved or rejected timesheets and expenses will be visible in the Archive tab, where you can filter them by date, team, and status. To prevent regular users from changing previous time entries and to ensure that your time logs and recorded expenses stay accurate, you can activate time and expense locking after a certain period or a specific date. You can lock entries before a specific day in the year, automatically set weekly or monthly locking days, or lock all entries older than X number of days, weeks, or months. The attendance report shows you the daily start and end time for each member, allows you to compare the team's work capacity with the actual hours worked, and see their daily time off. Here you can also see each member's overtime hours. In Clockify, you can set different time tracking targets for different teams or team members. For example, 8 hours a day for full-time team employees or 4 hours a day for part-time team employees. However you set your time tracking targets, you can set reminders to be sent to members who haven't logged enough or who have logged too much time. You can choose how many hours will trigger a reminder, whether it be daily, weekly or monthly, and who will be notified. Only those team members, their team managers or all admins. There are two types of manager roles in Clockify that can help speed up and optimize your processes. Team and Project Managers Team managers can see and edit their team's time and expenses, approve timesheets, and see reports. Project managers can manage tasks on their projects, add or remove people from their projects, schedule or delete them, see and edit billable rates, and the project's budget. You can define billable and cost rates for each task on a project to be able to track how much revenue, costs, or profit is tied to which task. You can also round time entries up, down, or to the nearest value so reports provide a quick and easy overview. Clockify integrates with QuickBooks, so you can send recorded time from Clockify for billing and accounting in QuickBooks. 
By connecting Clockify with QuickBooks, you'll be able to sync users, projects, and clients, and automatically add any information from Clockify that's missing in QuickBooks. All track time in Clockify can then be sent to QuickBooks from the detailed report, and those time entries will be marked as sent. As you add new users or projects, make sure to sync the apps so you can keep sending out time tracking data from Clockify to QuickBooks. If your team has been using a kiosk to track time, with its extra version, you will be able to add your company logo and customize the length of the session once the kiosk is launched. So if you have multiple kiosks, one can be open for 24 hours and the other for 48 hours, depending on the shift schedule or working locations. If you aren't sure which Clockify's paid plan will best serve your team, you can activate a free trial for seven days and test it out for yourself. No credit card required. Be sure to explore all Clockify features in depth and check out our other tutorials and guides for more helpful information and tips. Thanks for watching. Till next time.